So, you're standing ready to go. The audience is expectant. Your heart is beating a little quicker. Your content is prepared, but you're just not feeling as confident as you should. You're not alone. Heads of state, business leaders, best men at weddings, they've all felt like this, with the one question going through their mind. How could I take it to the next level? Tip one, don't think about your subject, think about your audience. We all know too much about what we do day to day, too much about the detail, too much about the processes we go through. When you're writing a speech that's really going to hit the nerve, you've got to think about what your audience knows already, what your audience wants to hear, and what you need your audience to hear and to remember. So put yourself in the room, imagine you're listening to your speech and you will take it to the next level. Tip two, work backwards. Imagine a member of your audience waking up tomorrow morning asking what they remember about your speech. If you're lucky, they'll remember one thing and that is the thing you've got to build your speech around. That's the message. That's the thing they take away. And so start at the end and work backwards from there. Tip three, think structure, not detail. You've decided on your key message. Now you need eight or 10 key points that are gonna lead your audience there. So start with those headlines, put them down on a sheet of paper, check that they flow seamlessly into one another, and only at that point do you start to think about detail. Tip four, brevity. You are likely to know more about your subject than pretty much anyone else on earth. On that basis, the biggest risk you run is using too much of it and suffocating your speech with detail. So go back to your structure, Pick out one or at most two points that really bring your argument to life. You're better using one point creatively and relevantly than by swamping your speech with too much detail. Tip five, write for the spoken word. It's all too easy to start writing the sort of paragraphs you would expect to read in an email, a book or a newspaper, but this is a speech. So write in short, punchy sentences underline key words that require emphasis. Use dots to emphasize a pause. Write in a way that you want the speech to be heard and that way your content will never be let down by your delivery. They may be simple, but we really do use these five tips day in, day out, at the heart of our work as we write speeches for politicians, business people, fundraisers, and even best men at weddings around the world. The five tips are freely available to download from our website, along with a whole lot more help and advice. I hope you find them useful, and good luck with your speech.